Well, they had that players only meeting after getting swept. Yes, swept by the Mariners at home yesterday. That has Seattle a hot team just a half game back in the standings of the Astros. They're now in position of a wild card while the Astros have the second wild card in the AL. The Mariners are there at the third. They're only a half game behind them in the AL West standing. So it's going to be very interesting down the stretch to see how it all plays out. But let's focus on the positive, right? Something great happened over the weekend here at this ballpark to a fan favorite second baseman, Jose. Altuve. A hearty congratulations to him this morning for getting hit number 2,000. It was in the fifth inning of Saturday's game. He had a single down the left field line. Well, he did get thrown out trying to stretch it into a double, but it still counts as a hit, the 2,000th hit of his career. He's only the third Astro to reach that milestone along with Jeff Bagwell and Craig Biggio, who's actually there to see Tuve's accomplishments. Yesterday, the Astros came close to coming back from a 6 to nothing deficit at the hands of the Mariners, but once again, they couldn't get it done against that hot team. Well, it doesn't feel good, um, but um, you know they're playing. They're playing good ball, and they got everything that they needed. You know, the whole weekend. You know, homers, two out, hits. Um, you know, they out hit us. Next up for the Astros is a four-game series here at Minute Maid Park against the Red Sox today through Thursday. They'll then head to Detroit this weekend for a three-game series with the Tigers before three more with the Red Sox, this time in Boston next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But before I go, I want to mention the Little League World Series and the team from Needville right here in our area. They won again on Friday a 6-2 victory over North Dakota. That included a nifty steal of home. Needville's next game is tonight against El Segundo, California, the team from the West Division. And a win tonight would put them in the final four on the U.S. side of the bracket. There's also an international bracket as well. The two teams that win each side of the bracket meet in the Little League World Series final game that's coming up on Sunday. Needville's having a great run, Maggie. We really hope that they continue to do so. Of course, Pearland did so well last year. It's cool to see some local boys at such a high level.